Hey guys, this is part three of my Blu-ray collection. It's uh, sci-fi this time, so let's just get into it. First up we have 2001 A Space Odyssey, obviously a classic. We've got Back to the Future Trilogy, which uh, you could also put in comedy, but I like to have it in the sci-fi. Obviously, you know, Back to the Future, great, one of the greatest movies of all time. Attack the Block, really fun movie with uh, John Boyega in an early role, yeah, really, um, yeah, just a really uh, fun, kind of low-budget, little uh, cool sci-fi action film, I guess. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, close classic, directed by Steven Spielberg. This is a, um, I don't know what these editions are called, these white slipcase ones that um, they did. It's like has ten on the side, so I don't know if that's, I think I have not one, one other of these. Who cares? Cloud Atlas, directed by uh, the Wachowskis and that other guy, Tom Tywicker. I can't pronounce that. Uh, yeah, the, the Cloud Atlas. I really liked Cloud Atlas. Um, I thought it was really good. It definitely was one of those films that was like... At first I wasn't sure how I felt about it or if I really loved it. And then it just stayed with me and I haven't seen it since. But, I mean, it's not like perfect. It's definitely... It uh, doesn't totally work, but I just really like it a lot. Cowboys and Aliens, Steelbook. Yeah, uh, it's a nice Steelbook. Not a great movie at all. Dark City, Director's Cut. Awesome film, just so good. Underrated. Um, yeah, right up, everybody go watch Dark City. It's, if you haven't seen it, it's just it's really, really good. Here we got uh, District 9. Uh, directed by Neil Blomkamp. Blomkamp. Uh, yeah, awesome film. Uh, I still haven't seen Chappie, which he also, also did, but I had mixed, pretty mixed things. But yeah, District 9's great. Then we have um, one that's stuck. <laughs> then we have Donnie Darko, uh, 10th anniversary edition. So this has got Blu ray and DVD, and like the director's cut in there as well. Uh, yeah. Awesome film. Dolly Darko, I would say, like, is my favourite movie of all time. <laughs> it's kind of a big statement. I'm not sure I... It's, I always find it really difficult when people ask me what my favourite movie of all time is. So, But it's become Dolly Darko, even though I haven't seen it in ages. And I think, as I'm filming this actually today, it's been 15 years since this came out. So I was uh, 11. Uh, <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow... Or Live Die Repeat, I'm trying to back walk Edge of Tomorrow and make people think it's called Live Die Repeat because that's a better title. But yeah, this film's wicked. It's so good. One of the best films of um, last year. Emily Blunt, Tom Cruise. Really awesome movie. Shame it didn't do well at the box office, but it was really, really good. I I loved it so much. So Emily Blunt was great in it. I really loved Tom Cruise as well as an actor, at least. Uh, yeah, Edge of Tomorrow, Live Die Repeat, whatever. Uh, it was great. And uh, I heard they might be doing a sequel, so that should be interesting to see how they pull that off. Ex Machina, great kind of low budget sci fi movie uh, with um, her, who is in the newborn, whose name I can't remember right now. Godzilla, uh, the 2014 one. Yeah, good film, but. Aaron Taylor Johnson's character is a bit boring in it, and shame Elizabeth Olsen gets like nothing to do in it, which is, I don't know, so hopefully Godzilla 2 will be an improvement. Gravity, which I guess isn't really sci-fi, it's just set in space, but keep it in the sci-fi. I feel like space films should be in sci-fi um, section as well. But yeah, awesome movie. I haven't watched it at home, don't know how it, it if it works as well on like a home screen, not in 3D. But uh, it was really good in the cinema in 3D, for sure. Uh, again, again, sort of tying the line of sci-fi, you could put this in drama as well. But it is sci-fi. Uh, I love this movie. Spike Jones directed it um, with Joaquin Phoenix. Great movie. I thought this was really, um, really good kind of romantic sci-fi, I guess you'd call it. Then we have the Hunger Games movies. Hunger Games. One... And games 2, Catching Fire. This is a nice uh, packaging, I really like this. Uh, this cover as well, I really like. And then uh, Hunger Games 
Mocking J Part 1. I still don't have Mocking J Part 2. But I love the Hunger Games movies, they were great. I'd say the first one is probably still the best, and my least favourite is Mocking J 1. For sure, felt like half a movie. I don't know why they feel the need to do this half half movie thing still. I guess money, but uh, yeah. Uh, the Hunger Games movies are great and still need to get Walking J 2. Inception. Uh, yeah, cool movie. I haven't seen this in ages. So I don't remember a whole lot about it, but obviously it was huge when it came out. I just remember that the dreams, like, they're not particularly imaginative. I don't know if that's me being picky, but... Interstellar with um, uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> yeah. This is a um, an interesting movie. I think visually it's more impressive than... Uh, and I would have ended it earlier, maybe. Jurassic Park trilogy. Obviously the first Jurassic Park is a classic. And the other two kind of have points of some really good stuff. And the second... The, sorry, the third one is just like ends really abruptly, I remember. Then we got Jurassic World, which I know people were divided on, but I thought it was a lot of fun. I really liked it a lot. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt. I thought it was a really good fun blockbuster. I'm looking forward to seeing what, um, how Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World 2 or Jurassic Park 5 turns out. Looper, really cool time travel movie directed by Ryan Johnson, who's of course doing a Star Wars Episode 8. Uh, yeah, um, really cool movie. If you think about the time travel stuff too much, it gets too confusing, but um, other than that, it's really good. I think they just kind of throw everything in there and they're like, fuck it. Mad Max Fury Road, awesome movie from um, last year. Jeez. Uh, yeah, great movie. Really kind of just bananas and shows what you can do just in camera. Not everything has to be totally CGI. The Martian. Again, this is not like technically sci-fi, it's like a space movie, but it's really good. Really, well, really Scott's best film in the years. Um, the Matrix Steelbook, obviously a classic. Pacific Rim, really fun movie, directed by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, looking forward to Pacific Rim 2, which I think comes out next year. Planet of the Apes collection, obviously the first one is a classic. The other ones have varying degrees of quality. My favourite sequel is probably the third one, not including the recent Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. These two are great. Uh, I loved the new ones. I'm really looking forward to the new one, War for the Planet of the Apes. Then we have Predators, the 2010 one. Yeah, this, whoops, this is okay. I'm looking forward to the new uh, Shane Black one. That should be good. Prometheus. It was a bit of a mess, but visually really nice. But hopefully then the sequel will be better. Robocop. One of my all-time faves. Love, love, love Robocop. It's an absolute classic, in my opinion. Then we have Serenity, which is obviously the... Uh, spin-off continuation of the TV series Firefly. This was great. Uh, I love Firefly and Serenity. I haven't watched them in ages, but both are both are really good. Yeah. Then we have Snowpiercer, which is a film that has not been released in the UK at all. Not even just like released it straight to DVD or Blu-ray or on Netflix or something. It's really good. Um, this is a US release. Uh, so hopefully that will get come out here at some point, but yeah, uh, Snowpiercer for some reason just still has not made it to the UK. Source Code, also a movie directed by uh, Duncan Jones, who also did uh, Moon, Moon and Warcraft, which I was not a fan of, but there you go. Star Trek uh, 2009 and Star Trek Into Darkness, really enjoyed both of these, I prefer Star Trek 09. And I thought I really liked the new one as well, Star Trek Beyond, directed by good old Justin Lin, who of course did a bunch of the Fast and Furious movies, which I am a big fan of. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. So, down in the corner there we have Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Episode 7. I have the kind of dark side cover and then the normal cover. Star Wars Force Awakens was freaking great. I loved it so much. I'm looking forward to the Rogue One is out next month. No, it's still October. 
Rogue One is out in December. On my birthday, actually, which is really cool. Starship Troopers. Love Starship Troopers. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, it's just really... And it's got some really cool kind of political undertones, despite its sort of goofiness. Super 8, directed by J.J. Abrams, really good. Sort of in the same vein as, uh, like, Stranger Things. Although I think Stranger Things, the series, was um, better. But this is... I still really like Super 8. Um, but I kind of... Uh, I don't, know, it was, I don't know, it's a good standalone story, but I would have liked a, a sequel, Super 9. <laughs> that would have made no sense. Uh, Tomorrowland, but they called it Tomorrowland and World Beyond in the UK for some weird, stupid reason. Uh, yeah, this was um, directed by Brad Bird. This kind of uh, didn't do so well, but I liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was good. Not Brad Bird's best. In fact, probably his worst film, but uh, he set a pretty high bar, so... Total Recall, the remake. Yeah, I actually quite enjoyed this one. Not as good as the original, but uh, got Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale. Love Kate Beckinsale. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, Tron Legacy, which was was fine. It was like, I just have so many mixed feelings about Tron Legacy. Like, visually stunning. Just stunning. Like, a, like would have made an amazing music video. But... Uh, story-wise, not quite there for me. But, still sad, Tron 3 seems to be not going ahead. And then finally we have Videodrome, Criterion. One of my few Criterion Blu-rays. Uh, yeah, this is a really nice addition. Um, it's got this kind of a Betamax cover here, Long Live the New Flesh. Videodrome, directed by David Cronenberg. Uh, yeah, great film. Love video drone. Awesome movie. Um, not much else to say on it really. It's a great film. I love Cronenberg, uh, especially his old stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then there's horror and comedy, and then just big old just, just no no uh, no design to any of it. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next part. Bye.